Now moving on to Zoe. Recently, Zoe had a problem with rapper Boosie's opinion on Dwayne's fathering skills when it came to his son, who would like to be identified as Dwayne's daughter. Here's what Boosie had to say, and follow behind that is Zoe's response to Boosie. I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too far. Oh, no. That is a male, a twelve-year-old. At twelve, they don't even know. They don't even know what their next meal gonna be. They don't. Even, they don't have sh figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. Like, bro, for real. If he gonna let him be, but don't cut him off. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not up there yet. He, he hasn't made his final decisions yet. They're saying this child is 12, so they don't even know what they want. First of all, sweetie, just because you were 12 and you didn't know what you wanted doesn't play off on the same person. Just because you were ignorant child don't mean that this child is an ignorant child. It depends on your upbringing. I was very smart at the age of 12. I knew exactly who I was and wanted to be at the age of 12. My mom didn't treat me like a little kid. She was talking to me grown. Um, she was talking to me different, not like no little child. Now, I couldn't do no grown up shit now, like coming in the house, doing what the hell I wanted to do, go to sleep when I wanted to go to sleep. But she raised me to be smart. You know what I'm saying? And what makes me so mad is yes the child is 12 now me when i was 12 when i was 12 i'm not saying the child's mature ain't gonna make good decisions because he's gonna be a child the child's gonna be a child and make child decisions but about yourself you know who you are and i'm sorry and, and if anybody disagrees with me you have to put yourself you can't put yourself i hate when people say put yourself in my shoes because you can never be in somebody else's shoes so i can't say put yourself in that child's shoes but if that child is saying that that is what they feel and that is who they are that is who the hell and the fuck they are because when i was in the fifth grade and the reason i'm so passionate about this situation is because this is what the I went through and people like Boosie and all these other people telling somebody who the f they are and they don't know who the hell they are y'all fuck up that person's brain and make them feel insecure depressed scared battling with um heaven hell and are they a good person it's the m like y'all who make them feel that way and because when I was in the fifth grade I was in the fifth grade I knew exactly what and gender I liked. I knew. I never once been touched in my life. I was never touched. Nothing growing up. I have my set. I have my biological dad. I have my biological mom. My grandparents. My aunties. My uncles. I played football. I ran track. I played basketball. Baseball. I did all that. Shit. Spent time with my dad. Spent time with my mama. Everything. And I knew what the f I liked. I knew in fifth grade what I liked. But I was so scared because my I grew up in the church. And my granddaddy was a preacher. And I was afraid to be myself. I was scared to tell anybody. I was, I was scared to be like, this is what I like. So I hid it. And then the older I got, I tried to hide it more. I tried to date girls. And then, then you start thinking, well, am I wrong? What's wrong with me? Am I am I a bad person? Am I this? Am I that? Because you hear so many people saying negative about who you are as a person 